So today we're looking into the equations with the brackets. And we can divide them into three categories. First two, when it is a just one bracket, and then we have two cases. One case, example, we have four times 2x minus one equals 16. We have one bracket, and we have that number in front of the bracket is a factor of the number on the right. Is a factor of the number on the right. In this case, we can first step will be divide both sides by four. We divide both sides by four. So four and four cancels out. We have two x minus one equals four. Then we plus one. We get two x equals five. To get x by itself, we divide both sides by 2, so x equals 5 on 2. So when we have the number in front of the bracket is a factor of the number of the, on the right, we divide by this number. That will be the easiest and fastest way to do it. Yes? Um, so if it's not a factor? That's what I'm going to talk about now. If the second case, if the n yes, um, if it doesn't divide, that, it that what I'm just he just asked it, and I say I just about to explain. It. So if we have, for example, we have three times four x plus three equal twenty. 20 is not divisible by 3. In this case, first we expand the bracket. How we expand bracket? We multiply this by this and this by this. So we get 12x plus 9 equals 20. And then we solve this equation. First step we minus 9 on both sides. We get 12x equals 11. And then we divide both sides by 2. Remember, we always must do exactly the same for both sides. And answer is x equal 11 on 12. Yes? Can I yeah. Make sense? Mm -hmm. So Wait, if, so if number... You divide it by 12, but 12 doesn't go into 11. Two. Sorry? What? Can you repeat the question? What was the question? Someone asked a question. Why we divided by 12? Why we divided by 12? We want x by itself. So 12 divided by 12 is 1. It cancels out. Okay. So does that make sense? Yes. So first step, if this number divisible by this, we first divide. If not, we first expand bracket. So there are two cases. Third case, if we have more than one bracket. If we have more than one bracket, plus if we have a known on both sides. For example, we have 2 times 3x minus 4 plus 4 equals 5 times x plus 1 minus 3. In this case, yes? Do you collect like terms? Later on. First step will be expand all brackets. So 2 will multiply by this and by this. 5 multiply by this and by this. So we get 6x minus 8 plus 4 equal 5x plus 5 minus 3. So first step, expanding the bracket. Make sense? Now we collect like terms. And we collect everything with x on one side. Everything without x on other side. So how we move 
5x from this side, from the right hand side to the left hand side. Yes? Minus it? Yes. Because it with a plus will minus 5x. Minus 5x. So now minus 8 plus 4 is minus 4. 5 minus 3 is 2. And we're moving, so we get 6x. What is 6x minus 5x? Minus x. X. Just x. 1x, but we don't write 1. So we have x minus 4 equals 2. And plus then we plus 4 on both sides. x equals 6. Every okay. step makes sense? Uh, yes. yes. Okay. Another example. One more example with the multiple brackets. Can I clean this up? Mm -hmm. Yes. yes. Yeah, no, Not yet? Okay. <laughs> Wait. Another example. We have seven times x plus four minus three equal five times four x minus three plus one. First step we expand brackets again. 7 we multiply by x and by 4, 5 we multiply by 4x and 3, so we get 7x plus 28 minus 3 equal 20x minus 15 plus 1. Typical mistake students do in when they explain in bracket, they multiply this number by the first one, but often forget to multiply by the second. Please don't Forget, multiply number in front of the bracket, multiply by everything in the bracket. And you keep the sign. If it's minus, it's minus. If it's plus, it's plus. Now we do the same thing. We collect x's on one side. But do we have to collect unknown on the left-hand side? No. no. Why it will be better in this case? Why it will be better to collect unknown on the right, not on the left? Why it will be better? Yes? You can get rid of 7x and you can still have... You only need yeah, we, we can move 20x to the left or we can move 7x to the right. Why better way is to move 7x to the right? Yes? Yes, to avoid getting negative number of x. So we minus 7x on both sides. I got it. And we get 28 minus 3, 25 because equal 13x minus 14. Then we plus 14 on both sides. We get 39 equal 13x. We divide by 13 and we get x three. equal 3. Thank you. Thank Make you. sense? Thank you. Okay, like, subscribe, and donate to help fight Russian, uh, Russian fascists, support Ukraine and Israel.